Welcome everyone, and I do mean everyone, barbers and cosmetologists. In the past, those of you who watched our videos know we've tended to make the videos either for barbers or for cosmetologists. One thing people don't realize, and, and I, I fault the teachers for this because the teachers know what I'm going to say, and if they don't know this, they shouldn't be your teacher because they're not qualified. And I'm pretty sure right there, I just guaranteed no teachers will show these videos to their class, but I don't care. Teachers have their license. I'm not here to help teachers. I'm here to help you get your license. You spent probably a year in school, I don't know, 10, 15, $20,000, and you still can't get your license. People call us every day, fail the test three, four, five, six times. The current is 14 times. Imagine 14 times, okay? The problems are several in no particular order. You need to understand that barbers will have cosmetology questions on their test. Cosmetologists will have barber questions on their test. Now, there are 11 chapters in your book that are tested for both barbers and cosmetologists. Then there are additional chapters only tested for the barber exam or only for the cosmetology exam. But 11 of the chapters everyone will be tested on and they comprise about 90% of your test. If you're in a state with a 100 question test, they are 90 questions. If you're in a state with 70 questions, they are 63 questions, okay? The point I'm getting at is, it's the bulk of your test, 90% doesn't make any difference whether you're a barber or a cosmetologist. And barbers call us every day and they say, I failed my test and I felt like I was taking a cosmetology test. Cosmetologists call us every day and say, I felt like I was taking a barber test. The point is the same. <clears throat> the tests are the same no matter what, in large part. The only difference is barbers will have shaving questions, cosmetologists will not. Cosmetologists will have makeup, hair removal, like waxing and tweezing, and nails, and barbers won't. But the 11 chapters compromising the bulk of your test don't change. Now, the other problem that we hear every day is this. People say, I read my entire book. I did really well on every test in school. When I got to the state board exam, I felt like I've never seen these questions before. And you're correct, you never have. Right? And I'm gonna to explain to you why. This is the most commonly used barber book. Most of you barber students will recognize this book. There is an older book, Red, White, and Blue, which still a lot of schools are using. Right? So that's two books questions can come from. Many of the cosmetology students will recognize this book. Some of you will recognize this cosmetology book. And some of you will have an even older book that shows a red-headed woman on the front. Your test questions are coming from those three books I just showed you and several others. They're coming from the Pivot Point book. Pivot Point, some call it Savant Fundamentals, is a competitor company to Milady. The problem with these books is you've got at least five to six, maybe even seven books your state board exam questions are coming from. The books all explain things differently. If you memorized every single word on every single page in your book, you would still see questions that you've never seen before because all the books explain things differently. And this is why people call us and say, I never saw those questions before because you never did and you never will as long as you keep reading the same textbook. Now the solution to that is very simple. Get our book. Go to our website www.cosmetology.stateboardexam. It has every question asked on your test in your state in the last year. There's the question, four possible answers. Below that it gives you the correct answer and below that it tells you what page and what textbook you can find that question in. So when you walk into your state board exam, you will not be surprised by questions you've never seen before. Now, the other thing you need to be very, very careful about, and again, this is not really stressed nearly enough. Many of you use this small question book from Milady. The book is wonderful if you want to review the Milady textbook. It's useless in preparing for the state board exam because all it gives you is the questions from your version of the Milady textbook. It doesn't give you the questions from other versions of the Milady textbook or from the Pivot Point book. So you walk in totally unprepared. 
I want to give you one example here. The current version, the red version, the Lady Cosmetology textbook says the pH range of true acid wave perms is 4.5 to 6.0. And that's a true statement. Unfortunately, the current version of the Barber book from the Lady says it's 4.5 to 7.0, which <clears throat> is an impossibility. If it were a true acid wave, it couldn't have a pH of seven as seven is neutral. But which book were they looking at when they wrote your test question? And here's maybe even more complicated. The prior version of the Milady Cosmetology book says 4.5 to 7.0. That is not the right answer in the real world, in chemistry, but it might be the right answer on your test for this reason, you don't know what textbook the person who wrote your test was looking in. They're not cosmetologists, they're not barbers. They're people paid to read the books and write test questions. If they read a book that said 4.5 to 7.0, that's the correct answer on that test. If they read a book saying 4.5 to 6.0, that's the correct answer on that test. The books are all over the board and they're in complete disagreement. And I've called Milady's parent company, Cengage, on a number of occasions. You know what they say? We'll get back to you. I'm glad I'm not holding my breath waiting for them to get back to me because it hasn't happened. The point I'm getting at is you must be prepared for all the questions from all the textbooks, all the different wordings of the questions, the inconsistent answers. Now, going back to my question on pH, they will not give you both answers. Answer A will not say 4.5 to 6.0. Answer B, 4.5 to 7.0. But you don't know which question you'll get. Once again, it's why you need this book. Every question with every answer from every page, from every textbook. On our website, www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com, give us a call, 760-534-4434, 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. daily Pacific time. We're closed on Sunday. We also offer private tutoring. It's six classes with you and the instructor done on your phone, either WhatsApp or FaceTime, depending upon your phone. It's very affordable prices, cheaper than failing your test over and over and over again. Give us a call. Now in the next video, we'll pick up with the first of the 11 chapters we're gonna discuss. Then we'll move chapter two, chapter three. It's not chapter two in your textbook, but it's chapter two of the 11 we're gonna discuss. We'll go to 11 videos after this one. Each video will take one chapter. Give us a call if you have any questions, 760-534-4434. And thank you and hope to see you.